What's up everybody, welcome back to the part 5 of this 2D platformer series. In today's video we will show you how to do wall interactions, we will show you how to do wall grab, wall climb, wall slide and how to do also wall jumps. So let's dive immediately. We are deeply thankful to all Patreon Peter Janusek, Mekker, Ivan Ferrat, Benjamin Venji and Mohamed Aiden. You are awesome guys. Let's start by enhancing our scene. I've downloaded a free asset, it's a 2D wallpaper created by Alien Nude. I provided the link down in the description. So I just copied the background from their demo scene to our scene and readjusted to be suitable to our scene. Then let's delete the current ground and use the 2D sprite shape to create a new ground better for our scene. So just go to the package manager and install the 2D sprite shape. Also install the additions included with it, which contains extra textures for the shapes. Right click in the hierarchy to create a new sprite shape and choose the profile grass and rocks. Then click on the icon, edit sprite to start shaping our ground. To add a new control point, just click anywhere on the line between two points to create a new control point. Then keep adjusting the level till you are happy with it. Make sure that the new platform has been set to a layer called the ground layer. Then add an edge collider 2D to auto create a collider for our new platform. Let's hit start and check how well the character now walking on the platform. I think there is problem with the collider. We need the character to be walking on the surface of the ground, so let's check the player collider. So I just need to uh, adjust the capsule collider 2D of the character to make it covering the character correctly. Also I need to adjust the ground detector, the collision. Okay, now the character walking fine on the ground. Then let's start by creating detectors for the walls by doing the same concept we did for detecting the ground. Open the collision script. Now we need to add three new walls. First one to, de to detect if we are touching any wall. Let's name it on wall. Also we need two more walls to detect if we are touching the right wall or a left wall. Let's name them on right wall and on left wall. Also, it would be useful to create a new integer called wall side to give a number to the wall side. Now we can use the same code we created to detect if you are on the ground by just adjusting the vector2 offsets. So we need two new uh, vector2 offsets, one for right offset and another for left offset. So if we want to detect if we are on a wall, we create two overlap circles one with the right offset and one with the left, then we check if anything colliding with the right uh, circle or the left circle, then we are on the wall. We can use the same concept to detect if we are colliding with the right wall or colliding with the left wall. Based on that, we can know on which side we are. So if we are colliding with the right wall, we set the value of the side to one. If not, we are on the left wall, we set the value of the side to minus one. And finally, we can draw the gizmos so we can visually see the circles in the editor. Save the script and go back to the scene, adjust the offset for both the right circle and the left circle. Hit play and let's check if we are correctly detecting the walls. If we go to the right, See, we get that we are on a wall and exactly on the right wall. If we go to the left and hit the left wall, we are on the wall and exactly on the left wall. Now let's go to the animation tab and create a new animation for the wall grab. Align our hero near the wall so we can align the limbs or the hands and legs to the wall. So let's position the axes on and the legs on the wall. Then rotate the body to the right a bit to make the character like if he is looking up. 
Once you're happy with the grab position, stop the recording, then go to the animator and create new bool, grab wall, then make a transition from any state to the wall grab and set the condition the bool grab wall to be true and then do another transition from wall grab to exit to exit this uh, animation or position and set the condition that wall grab is false of course you can remove the uh, exit time to make a quick transition between the movement without waiting the full animation to happen it's better to rename this to wall grab then open the player movement code and add a public bool wall grab then we can control that using or by accessing our animator and set the bool wall grab to our wall grab which will be will be controlling by the code then we say if we are colliding with a wall and pressing the grab button we turn the wall grab boolean to true and we add a new button to our input in the input manager from the project settings let's name it grab and set the positive value to it by pressing the C button on the keyboard now if we click play and we jumped and clicked C we will start grabbing the wall but we didn't address the cases when we remove our hand from the C button nor when the player touches the ground so for now we stuck at the wall grab animation let's solve this the solution is simple it is if we are not colliding with the wall or we release the grab button we set the wall grab to false that will automatically exit the wall grab animation also we want the player to stay at its place and not affected by the gravity nor fall down so we set the gravity to the gravity scale to zero when we are wall grabbing and if we stopped wall grabbing we reset the gravity back to its normal value which is for my character currently three also to make sure that the character not moving up or down we set the velocity on the y axis to zero Okay, now we can wall grab and stay at our place as long as we're pressing the C button but I noticed a bug that if you move left or right the character flips while wall grabbing but we don't want to make the character flips while we are wall grabbing so we just need to disable the flipping, flipping mechanism by returning if we are wall grabbing we also want to prevent the player from moving so we go to the wrong function and we say if we are wall grabbing we return also and now we can grab perfectly without any problems let's now move to the wall climbing animation and codes let's go to the animation tab and create a new animation name it wall climb and we can copy the grab animation as a start point for the wall climbing animation the climbing animation consists of four phases each phase we switch between an axe and legs while we are climbing uh, also we can consider moving the body up and down a bit to reach the perfect climbing animation I'll fast forward while you're watching this to not waste time Once you reach a satisfying animation, go back to the animator. It's also good to set a transition between the jump and wall grab because we can wall grab while jumping. So set a transition from the jump to wall grab. When the grab bool is true. Now we need a float for the vertical axis to detect if we are moving up or down while we are wall grabbing make a transition between wall grab and wall climb and set the conditions if we are wall grabbing and if the vertical axis is more than 0.1 means we are pushing up 
we do the wall climb animation. If the vertical axis is below the 0.1, that means we stopped pushing up, then we go back to the grab animation. Let's go back to the player movement code and add a float called the speed modifier because when we are moving up we don't want the player to move at the same speed as sliding down so if we are pressing up that means the y is bigger than zero then we set the speed modifier to 0.35 else we set it back to one now we set the velocity equals to the velocity on the x as it is but we set the velocity on the y to y multiplied with the speed modifier and also multiplied with the run speed also you can create if you want another float to control the climb speed instead of using the run speed itself now we need to link this to the animator so we type the code set float vertical axis which is equal to the direction on the x on the y axis now if you wanted to climb up the transition toward the wall climbing animation will not be triggered because we need to add another condition which is the vertical axis is minus 0.1 also we make a transition to exit the climbing animation by setting the wall grab bool to false now let's do the wall slide animation and codes, create a new animation, name it wall slide and just reposition the body by rotating it a bit to the left and reposition the axis and legs to make the viking character as if he is looking down a bit. Then go back to the animator, add a new parameter, a new bool called wall slide and we transition to from any state to the wall slide by setting that to true and we exit it when it's false. Let's open the player movement code again and add a new bool the wall slide. Also link it to our animator using the set bool command. We set the wall slide bool to false when we are wall grabbing. Also we set it to false when we are not touching a wall. We only want to show the wall slide animation when we are colliding with the wall and not colliding with the ground but also when we are not wall grabbing it. When that happened, we set the wall slide bool to true and we call the wall slide function which we will be creating now. In the wall slide function, we simply change the velocity in the y axis to be the negative value of our slide power. Also, we need to address a case where the player is pushing toward the wall that will create a velocity or force prevent the gravity from pulling the character down. So, we create a new bool call it pushing and we check if we are colliding with the left wall and moving to the left or colliding with the right wall and moving to the right that means we are pushing in that case we set the velocity on the x to zero also we need to address a case where we are colliding with the wall but also colliding with the ground in that case we want to stop the slide animation by setting the slide animation bool to false now we got perfect sliding mechanism now let's code the wall jumps, go back to the player movement code to the section where we coded the normal jumps and say if we are not colliding with the ground and we are on the wall we do the wall jump. So let's create the wall jump function. In the wall jump function we need to detect the direction of the wall we colliding with to do a wall jump in the, into the other direction but that's not enough to create the wall jump yet so we need two new bulls can move and wall jump the concept here is that we need to stop the player from controlling the character during the wall jump for a bit then we give back the control gradually to the player so here is what we will do when we do wall jump we set the wall jumped bull to true and also we create another if so if we are colliding with the ground, we set the wall jump to false. Now we need to create I enumerator for disabling the movement. So we set the can move to false for a short time, then we re-enable it. 
then we just need to call this coroutine in the wall jump function and set the time to 0.1 seconds, that would be enough. Then we go to the run function and the wall slide functions and we say if we can't move, we just return to prevent the player from running or doing wall slides during the wall jump. And finally, we need to change how the run function works. So if the player is not doing wall jump, we keep the velocity as it is previously. Else, that means we are wall jumping, then we do a lerp from the current velocity to the normal velocity of the character. That will make the player recover the control of the character slightly till it's back to the normal situation after the wall jump. And that's it, just enable the can move boolean to be true as a default value and it's better to set that in the start function. That's all for today's video, you have learned how to do wall grab, wall climb, wall slide and wall jumps, you can use those in your project, I hope you benefited and enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to support us, until next time, see you soon.